and welcome back to my island seashell. Today we're building a nooks crannies area and I'm kind of excited. The only problem is I do need to do a little bit of moving around because Able Sisters is still in the way and we also need to move nooks crannies so it's going to be a little bit of a pain but it's okay we can do it. And I also have a crazy idea that I don't know if it's going to work and if it doesn't work we'll just rip it down but it's okay that's what we're here to do. Let's get to it. So here we are. We're on the right side of our little beachside houses. I've done a little bit of work. A little bit of work off camera. I did some terraforming back here. I did. And I also put these two houses. Actually, when did I put this house here? I don't even know. But I did this house today. I moved these here. I need to customize them. I need to change the villagers. We gotta do all that good stuff. But that doesn't matter today. No, today matters here. We're gonna be doing this part. Elmer's here to cheer us on. Ooh, he's got a sprite. Is that, a, is that a sprite? First of all, I don't know if we have enough space to do what I want to do here, but tough. We're going to have to just try, you know? We're just going to have to try and do it. Let's start by putting down boardwalk. I think I'm going to start the boardwalk here. I don't even know how big Nook's Cranny is. Is it like seven? Okay, yeah, it's seven, which is bigger than I wanted it to be. I'm pretty sure it is seven wide. It is a big old building. Maybe I won't be able to do what I want to do because I was hoping to put Nook's Cranny in here and then put water around it, but there's not enough room, is there? There's not. Okay, it's fine. In that case, we might as well just make this bigger. So I do already have Nook's Cranny on me. We need to try and get it sort of more this side than the other side. Or this way. Actually, let's do it this way. Closer here. Let me imagine it first before I commit to this. I mean, it's not really giving us a lot of space. I think I'm going to go back by one. Elmer, you're going to get squished. Goodbye, Elmer. I think he made it out. If not, he's been squished by Nook's Cranny. This will do. Like I said, I did want to put water all the way around, but I honestly just don't have the room. Maybe we could do that for a different building. I'm not about to rip my island apart just to do that. I want to bring all of this boardwalk code all the way back to the back of the building right here. I think this is a good spot. Now I just have to fill it all in. You know what? I was kind of excited for summer when I started this island. I was like, yay, summer. The weather has been awful. It is July and the weather is awful here in the UK. It's raining today. It's raining pretty much most of the day. It's on and off. It's been raining. It's terrible. There's no sun anymore. <laughs> the sun is left. So that's perfect. What I'm going to do is quickly time travel so that Nook's Cranny is moved into the place and then we can actually build around it. Right, we're back, we're back. It should be moved into place. Oh, I love it already. We do need to have some trees. I'm probably going to grab coconut trees and pop them there. Also, I've just realized something. We missed the three-year anniversary of the channel. Actually, on the 30th of June is when I posted my first ever video on the channel three years ago. And we missed it by a few days. So yeah, happy three years old to the channel. Thank you everyone for being amazing. But let's decorate. Need to actually continue this road because I haven't actually finished it. We kind of just stopped it there because that's where I did have the sand finishing. There we go. Perfect. We've done the road all the way along. I'm probably just going to stick wheat field bushes, trees along here because you know what I'm like. Anyway, now it's time to actually start decorating the nook's cranny. Along the front, I want to put this. I want to put the safety railing all the way along. I want to make sure I space it correctly. I think that's a big enough gap. All right, and then number one here. I don't think I have any more on me. I have no more on me, but also I don't know if I like it now because there's massive gap here. Unless I pull all this down like to there and then have a bigger gap. Maybe that looks better. It looks better than having the huge gap there. I do have more safety railings that I'm going to put along here, so it's not going to stay there. But we have this retro transportation stop, but I think I'm going to turn it round. Let's turn it that way round. See, it just bugs me that it's so rusted at the bottom. I don't know. It just annoys me. Storage shed in front of that. That looks better. It covers up the rust on the bottom. Or maybe we should put the safety railings in first. Oh yes okay it looks lovely i really like those safety railings oh they don't match up i've got one too big a gap okay we can fix that Ta -da! perfect we fixed it that looks quite nice imagine once we stuck wheat field and stuff in front my lovely good friend the barrel also have a sideways pirate barrel not sure if i like both colors together they i think they look kind of okay maybe we chuck in a wooden box and make it look a bit something oh i know something i want to use behind here i'm gonna stick in the fence item it's literally just called fence put it in there and then behind we might put them all along just so it doesn't look so odd or at least one more just so you can't see the although you can't see the gap maybe it will be okay just like that i have a fishing rod stand that i'm gonna move as close as possible to that like so another barrel but i don't think i'm gonna stick it there i think i'm gonna stick it probably outside when we do this bit i don't know if i want the fish drying rack there 
Or if I'm gonna save that for the beach. I might put that on the beach instead. This anchor statue is definitely gonna go here. It looks so cute. We need a little pathway to the nook's cranny. I do have this, but I don't know if it's gonna look a bit weird. Actually, it looks kind of nice. I like it. On this bit here, we're just gonna put some stacked fish containers. I have two different colors, blue and red, of course. I'm probably going to put a little one here as well. Also, this fresh cooler has to go here. Push it over a little bit though. I was thinking maybe having a snack machine here, but I think it's gonna ruin this. I was also gonna have a drinks machine just outside because then it makes it look a bit more shop-like. I don't think I like this barrel with this barrel. Instead, we're gonna use this barrel. Okay, a million times better already. Anchor statue can go this side instead. Oh, I got a little fish bait. We're just gonna drop it on this crate. Look how cute that looks, the little fish bait. I love it. Add more prettiness. We're just gonna have a shell partition, although I want it the other way around. So then the holes of the shell are mainly on the other side. Also, hi, balloon. Hello. This is the nook's cranny, so I still feel like you need boxes. We've got a cage cart here, a rolling cart here. It's a busy nook's cranny, what can I say? I might still need to get in there though, so let's just pull you out for now. I want to stick something on that barrel. Let's do that first before we carry on. I'm just going to chuck a life rig on there. You can't really go wrong with a life rig. And then put our lovely barrel back. And our rolling cart. Also, you can stick stuff on top of this one. So if you grab another fish bait, you can actually put it on top. How adorable is that? Some stacked shopping baskets. Oh, you can still wiggle through. So that's okay. Because I don't plan to walk that way too much anyway. I think I'm going to pick these up and put a little code on the floor. Just because it looks a little silly on the sand. What do we have that I can use? I wonder if we could get away with just putting three of these, or not three, six of these together like this, and then putting the machines back on top. I think we could, right? Yeah, I think that looks fine. Ooh, I like this, right, tree time. I definitely want to stick a tree here. Oh no, I can't, it's right next to that one. But we can put a bush in, and then a tree behind it. We're gonna go for the coconut tree. Oh, I'm so glad I did. Another bush here, and then a tree next to it. Oh my gosh, yes. I don't know why, and this is very random and weird. Uh, but not weird, just random. I don't know why, but this game is reminding me of another game that I'm excited for that's coming out soon. It's coming out in early access very, very soon. I think it's Q3 of this year. I'm probably going to play it on the channel called Criticove. I did play the demo for it a few months ago, maybe even a year ago now and it was so good honestly so much fun and i don't know why but this island just reminds me of crater cove and i'm very excited to play it so very random thought process but there it is okay i need to grab some wheat fill for sure and start filling some of the areas out obviously i don't want to fill it too much but i want it to be a little overgrowny looking also i need to get the smaller decorations by the way we're not finished we're gonna do over here as well i'm hoping to do this part of the beach and the dock so don't worry we're not finished <laughs> In case you're like, wait, you finished already? No. No, I haven't. I have limited myself to a couple of pieces of wheat field. Free, to be precise, but I might have to grab another one. Elmer's having the best time. He's just running around everywhere. Let's whack in a tall garden rock as well, just to change it up a little bit. There's not much you can do about the edges unless I stick wheat field all along the edges. But I'm like, is that too much? Although I kind of want to do it. Let me see if I like it. It still shows green, so I don't think it really matters, does it? There's nothing you could do about the weird green grass. Nothing you could do. So now what I do need to do is move Able Sisters. Also, do not know what I'm going to do behind Nook's Cranny just yet. I'm sure I'll come up with an idea. It is near these houses, so I'm kind of like, do I do a little bar? <gasps> Pashmina wants to leave. Okay, this could be a good thing. It's okay, I get it. Pashmina's leaving. That means we have to go and get another villager as well. But yeah, behind here, I might either do like a little private beach section or I might do a little bar. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm not going to do it today. Let's anyway time travel. Actually, let's move Able Sisters and then time travel so we can move Able Sisters and build the beach. I don't know where I'm going to put Able Sisters. I have no idea. Where do I even put it? Because I need to terraform all the areas that are spare. I don't even know. I don't even know. What do I do? I don't have any space on the beach either because I've decorated most of those areas. I think I'm just going to have to shove her back here and move it as soon as I can. I can't, there's flowers. Oh, okay. Can we stick it in here? Yes. It's gonna have to go here. That'll do. 
it's drizzling at the moment. It's a light drizzle, but I think it's gonna stop in maybe 11 minutes, so it's not so bad. But it's kind of nice. I kind of like the drizzle with the sunshine and oh my gosh, June. Yay, we like Glee. Speaking of June, yes, my game is set in June. It is, because I wanted to have the little nautical thing on the front of Nook's Cranny. You see, it's got the little life ring. It has the little life ring. See? So that's why I've set it in June, because I want that. Also, every day that I was in July, I'm not even kidding, it was raining really badly. Like, grey and raining. I can't decorate like that. I don't know about you, I just don't decorate in the rain. Anyway, Able Sisters has moved. Let's get to work on these beaches. We got these boats here. I need to finish the vertical board fence going along here because for some reason or whatever else, I didn't do it. I think I want to bring it to about here. Yes, yeah, so we're going to bring the decking to there and then... Maybe do like a little fishing something something here. Apparently today my word vocabulary is very small. I don't know many words. Many words are not coming to my brain. <laughs> I'm sure we all have days like that where we're just like, I don't know. Words are just words. I don't know what's a word. What What's a word? Why is a word? Who knows? I really don't feel like going to the treasure island today. I'm having one of those days where I just don't want to go. It's not even like it's going to be a hassle. It's not going to be busy. I just don't want to go. <laughs> just don't feel like it so if we do need anything it's just gonna have to wait i'd rather go and do a huge bulk order oh this is why i didn't do it because this wouldn't let me as i was said i'd rather go with a huge bulk order of stuff that i need to order rather than just go for like one thing i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one like that let's push these two closer together and then put stuff here it looks less organized than uh, well it's organized but it just it's more pleasing on my eyes oh i need to stick one more thing in here Fish container, there we go. Just needed one thing. I got a plastic bench that I want to stick down here. I don't know how far I want it over. Maybe in the middle so I can stick something at the side. Also though, I'm like, do I want to stick that there? Because I'm just about to stick a portal down. So let's stick a portal. There you go, portal toilets. You need those when you go fishing, right? Where else are you meant to go? If you need to go, you gotta go. So yeah, maybe the bench could go somewhere else. Maybe here. Because honestly, there'd be nothing worse than sitting on a bench next to a portolo and hearing someone go toilet. Like, it, it won't be nice. It'd be a horrible experience. So we've got a fish drying rack to go here. Although, I can give it a spin. I'm also tempted to get another retro transportation stop and stick it behind. So if we push it forward so that we give ourselves enough space, pop a lovely wooden crate there. Yeah, the retro transportation stop should go there quite nicely and then we'll put palm trees around it. we got a rat and low table just in front of the portolos. How wonderful. Now, for some reason, I only have a goldfish trophy and a silver one. I don't have the bronze, but I'm just like, eh, that will do. Maybe this person came second and first. I don't know. <laughs> I need that transportation stop. This time, we're going to use a red one to break up all the blue stuff. I don't have any signs to change these signs for, so you're just going to have to pretend it's fish. I want to pop this mini car on here, but I think I want to pull it right over. Ooh, yes, another fish drying rack. Pop that in there like so. Oh, we can't push any closer, but that's okay. I kind of like it staggered. I do have wheat fill, but I definitely don't have enough. I'm definitely going to need more to cover the places on this beach because I want some kind of scattered all along here. I think I might just leave that for now. I have no motivation to go to the treasure island today, which is fine. It's okay if you don't feel motivated. Captain, though. I do not know what I'm going to do on the pier just yet. We'll decide in a second. Now, I do have a hand washing area, but I don't think I'm going to fit that in anywhere either. Stacked fish containers. They can go there. How hygienic, right, though? Your food is near the portolo. You have a life ring. I have so many fish drying racks. Why did I get so many out? I do not know. Maybe we could stick one on the pier here. Yeah, maybe that works. Enjoy the smell of fish, Captain. Although, I guess you'll like fish because you're a, a whatever you are. Why is it when you want something to go a certain way, it won't? See, I would love for this to be this way round, but over this side, but it won't go. So I'm just going to have to make do. It's so annoying. <laughs> now I've got to push it all the way like this. Do you know what? I'm just not going to put it there because it's going to bug me too much. Maybe we'll just stick it behind here. There we go. That's better. And then push it over so I can get my coconut tree in still. But enough so that we can get through. Oh, see, I love that. 
More fish containers. Ooh, maybe we could put this one on the dock. Can you completely cover Captain up? Not that I'm going to. I was just curious. Let's enjoy some music while we fish. I went back for another stacked fish container just because I want to stick it on the end here. Look, I'm not trying to block him in, but I'm just trying to make it look fuller. Pop some decorative bottles here for no reason other than I like them there. I have a shell speaker. I want to fit that in somewhere just so there's a little bit more music playing. Maybe we could stick it here. See, this feels really bad to me still, but I'm kind of liking it in a way. Maybe once I've stuck wheat field here, it might look a little better. I might like it more. But let's leave this shell here. Can I push you actually anymore? Oh, I can. There you go. Big giant shell from the ocean that plays music. Can't go wrong with a beach pool. Oh, I do have a bottle crate. Let's just stick that there. Oh, yay. Nice. I thought we kind of have to have some real fish, right? Although this one is huge. Place this one here instead. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then we can put the folding thing on here instead. Oh my goodness, I can't get over how big that is. We got a little snow crab, he can go here. And then this little lobster guy, he can go here. We have a small amount of seaweed. I'm gonna have to get some more seaweed. I have a salmon, but isn't that big too? I don't even know, where should I stick it? It is big. Okay, I'm now thinking I'm gonna move these and put the fish behind. So if we move this back, can I put the other big fish on top of it? I'm pretty sure I can. No, I can't. That's so mean. It's really annoying that it won't let you do that. Oh wow, wooden box can go back. I don't know what we're gonna do with the salmon. I guess we'll just keep hold of it. I don't really want to stick on the beach. I do want to stick though. This stacked fish container right here. Oh no, I can't push it up even more. I was hoping I could. That's fine. We'll just move this little guy. And then you to there. That looks better. Well, looks like I'm never going to go see Captain. You know what we don't have? Fishing rods. How could I forget fishing rods? So I actually have an actual fishing rod to go here by this chair and then over here we're just gonna put the fishing rod stands maybe we take them off of the side it will make it look like you know they're down from there i think actually though i'm gonna pull them over just ever so slightly maybe by one by one whole square by the way not one push and then also i have a cooler where am i gonna stick this here by the beach ball <laughs> why not okay just need some coconut trees. Wheat field can wait. The wheat field will be going along here. That can wait. I feel like I need something here. Unless we move the fishing rods and put them down the other end. Or maybe just stick one here. And then one down here. Oh, I accidentally put the salmon there. But you know what? I kind of like the salmon there. Although you can't see this. Maybe if we move that. Put the fishing rods down there instead. Oh, give it a rotate. Flip it round. And then the bottle crate. That looks better. Oh, that looks so much better. We filled this weird corner out that I was moaning about. Okay, need coconut trees. And I'm going to continue with the rope fencing all the way along, but maybe to only like here. Can you get through though? Oh yeah, you can. Easy peasy. This will be wheat filled. Probably wheat filled. I've done a little walkway to this part. I don't want to stick another one in. Also, I don't want to stick any trees on this bit because I don't want to block the view we've made. So it probably will be bushes and wheat field. Let's stick a couple of flowers on the beach though, just to brighten it up a little bit. All right, there's one coconut tree. Where should I stick the other? Behind here, I think. Perfect. Okay, I love this. We just need the wheat field, like I said, but I don't have it. And I, I don't want to go to the treasure island to get it today. I'm just feeling lazy. Lazy treasure island day. But anyway, I think that's where I'm going to leave this build for today. Oh, I need the wheat field. Do I go get the wheat field? See if I have any left. I might have a couple. No, we have zero wheat field. I do have a garden rock though. And I do have some weeds. So maybe a couple of the weeds here and there will work. Okay, that works for now. <laughs> it works okay. Just imagine there's wheat field here. But anyway, I think that's it. I think we're done with today's build. Now it's time to have a look around. Wait, no, 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 no. These can't be like this. Oh, we're gonna have to swap a flower. I cannot have them both the same opposite each other. That's just not gonna work. There we go. Anyway, let's look around. So today we built the area around Nook's Cranny. We gave it kind of a cluttered fishing shop kind of vibe. And I really like how it's come out. It definitely screams coastal Nook's Cranny to me. I'm going to keep my game in June as well so that I can keep these little shells above the door and also the little life ring at the side. If you didn't know, Nook's Cranny changes every month. It changes the exterior and the little windows. Actually, I don't know how often the windows change. I'll have to double check that. But anyway, this is our Nook's Cranny. Like I said, very cluttered. 
I love how it looks. We also did on the beach from Nooks Cranny. This is the little fishing area. Fishing competitions go on here quite regularly. Something too special, nothing too over decorated, but I really like it. And I like the addition of the big old fish. He was bigger than I thought he was gonna be, but I love him and his name is Big Blue. Yep, his name is Big Blue. And over here, we did a little spot of decoration. Is again, like I said, nothing too crazy. Just a bunch of load of items that I like. I think they all work really well together. It's obvious that it's a fishing spot and that's all that matters to me. But overall, I like it. I love this build. But there we have it. We finished today's build. I hope you all enjoyed it. I always have fun. And so this was no exception. If you enjoyed today's build, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. Have the loveliest of days and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.